What's going on with the Suicide Squad game? It's always fun to talk about Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, right? What's going on with Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League? Didn't they just have an update? Yo, y'all don't want to talk about Suicide Squad? Mrs. Freeze traversal looks fire, honestly. Hold on, bro. Let's actually look at the update. Tons of amazing season two news. Suicide Squad game looks actually good what is this i'm seeing y'all the mrs freeze gameplay saved suicide squad season two let's see what mrs freeze is talking about i've heard a lot of things about mrs freeze mrs freeze gameplay did not save suicide squad season two we're gonna get through this together guys i like talking about suicide squad killer justice league honestly because i honestly like thinking about it sometimes man because it's crazy how big of a f up that game was it's crazy how when i first heard about it i was actually so excited isn't that crazy guys that's kind of why i actually like talking about the game sometimes because it's crazy to think about how when i first heard about this game oh shit i am tired of the suicide squad we have gotten two movies and all of this but we've gotten two movies and animated movies and a harley quinn tv show and all of this shit but hey a game where you go after the justice league this might be tough and then the gameplay dropped and it was one of the worst games I've ever played. So that it, it was it was a rough one, man. It's rough. I like to I like to come back and just check on the Suicide Squad every now and then to see if it ever got any better. They got a season two new character, Mrs. Freeze. I still don't know why they didn't put Killer Frost in. Mrs. Freeze. Look what we have here. Just eight seconds of footage was dropped online of what should have been Killer Frost gameplay. But talk to him. Why didn't they put Killer Frost in the game? But instead, Rocksteady and Sweet Baby decided to gender flip Mr. Freeze like there wasn't already one established in the Arkhamverse that they so happily destroyed. But let me be honest. Well, I guess the whole thing about Suicide Squad Killer Justice League is that you're trying to bring in people from multiversal worlds. Like that's the new, that's the new character every uh, season. Like last season, they brought in some bootleg ass Joker, the Jonkler, the Juggler, you know what I'm saying? His ugly ass. So I guess that's their goal, but I still think they should have brought in a variant of Killer Frost or just Killer Frost. From what we saw, the gameplay didn't look too bad because they were heavily focusing on her traverse. Oh, snap. Not a the fro she got a little frozone blood? Because they were heavily focusing on her traversal. And funny how in the comment section of this video, what? That's all people seem to care about. It's nearly as if that's all she could do that was unique. You wanna know why? Because every other element of her gameplay is the exact same as all of the other Suicide Squad team members. Shoot people. See how the gameplay started off with her shooting the gun for the one time. Then the developers took some time to realize that it looked incredibly stale. So then they turned her into Iceman. Nah, blue skinned Frozone. Wait, she has her own ice? Right there. You see how they haven't even dropped a trailer for this chica? The same way that they did with the Joker? I I'm about to say, bro, I can't find no gameplay of her. I was about to say, where is the gameplay trailer? I cannot find it, bro. I'm just about to, I thought I was going crazy. Nah, blue skinned Frozone and got her the hell up out of there. You see how they haven't even dropped a trailer for this chica? The same way that they did with the Joker? I find it genuinely funny. I do that just about zero marketing is going into promoting their latest DLC. Damn. These people really ran out of money. In fact, they owe money to WB. They can't afford to promote it. Her. What? Like they owe money. After seven years of tumultuous de development, Warner Bros. took a $200 million loss. What? No way that's true. I gotta Google something. Oh my God, bro. Warner Brothers says the failure of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League contributed to a $200 million hit to revenue seven years of development for this bro this is what i'm telling y'all bro this game's lifespan is like this is hanging on by a thread big dog 200 million how do you misuse your funds like that what were the devs doing on god what were they doing bro they can't afford to promote it her it's like they know at this point that it would do more harm than good mrs freeze ain't making y'all no money ain't nobody buying your overpriced cosmetics Yikes. or your battle pass to kit this woman out with some drip mrs freeze was never going to save the suicide squad rocksteady that's true though this game has been free for two days and the player count has not went up at all in fact i think it decreased <laughs> nah bro decreasing off of free <laughs> <laughs> off a free weekend is crazy bro let me see something right quick honestly that is a slap in the face though i'm not I, that actually low-key makes sense bro because me as pain as i am to say it i paid for this game how much did i spend on this game 70 bucks nah i spent 130 dollars on this game it is one of my 
most embarrassing moments, bro. It is one of my, but, but I didn't, I didn't do it because I thought the game was going to be fire. I did it because they gave me three days early access. I knew there was going to be a lot of content to make about this game. So I bought the game so I could get the three days early access so I could play the game and make videos about it. I ended up making my money back from the videos, man. The YouTube videos and the TikTok videos ended up making me the money back. So it was worth it in the end. The game ended up being free three months later. Was it really worth it in the end? Bro, it's crazy. It's, it's just crazy. This game, bro. 24 out what i didn't even look at these numbers bro first of all 13,000 all-time peak is actually insane there's no way oh my god it's that's accurate too bro july 13th 2024 bro 13,000 all-time peak on this game 359 people bro <laughs> Increased. This is what happens when you choose DEI and SBI instead of giving your players the experience that they want and deserve. It also goes to show what happens when you ignore. I don't know about the whole DEI argument. I feel like people throw the I just feel like people throw around DEI a lot. I don't really know what that has to do with this unless he's talking about Sweet Baby Inc. And them like just being a team of ragtag moth because that just make whatever or the audience. That is the sole reason why you've got money in your pocket in the first place. Rocksteady. You've got to move on, brother. If the only way you could promote Mrs. Freeze was by showing off the one new thing that she could do that the rest of the squad couldn't in an eight second video, maybe it's time to grab your coat at the door and leave. Take all that pride away. There's much less shame in admitting that you failed and walking away to pursue other projects than dumping the remainder of your resources into trying on god bro move on from this game bro just let it die in the dumpster like it is bro it's over set the match put a grenade in the dumpster just forget it ever happened bro send this shit off to the moon like it, it has to go bro put it out put it out to die trying to get people to play this game like yo isn't that crazy their concern isn't even that they want people to buy the game and it's dlc anymore they don't care about people buying into their microtransactions they just want people to play the game. That on God, I, it is sad, but I don't feel bad, bro. Because at the same time, you brought back Arkham Batman to do this bullshit. The game was ass. I beat the game literally in one day. All the boss fights were dog shit. The game is dog shit. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. The game is ass. It's a horrible game. They deserve everything they got to them, bro. So I, I can't even sit here and act like I'm, I don't feel bad. I feel pity for you. Oh, how great you were once. I remember the days of old where if we'd be bothered enough to find all of the Riddler trophies. Now... We have to wonder what character that Rocksteady will try to tell us was black all along. Or if Queen Mera was the real Aquaman. It sounds insane. <laughs> that shit was so dumb. I'm not going to lie, bro. That shit was so dumb. I'm not even going to sit here and lie to y'all, bro. They really had Deadshot in the Arkham game. Brought in black Deadshot. Because it's just like the movie. So they're trying to sell. You know what I'm trying? They're trying to make people make the connection, bro. Oh, actually, the, the, the previous Deadshot in the other Arkham games that were actually good. Yeah. Yeah, that was fake that shot he was he's a fake he 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 stole his uh he stole his identity and what what are you talking about bro there's no shot in hell bro what are you talking about we're playing as the greatest detective in the world bro wouldn't batman have known that this ain't even the real floyd Lawton. this ain't even dead shot for real dead shots black i mean wouldn't have wouldn't batman have known to keep it real with you bro suicide squad once we saw what the gameplay was and once we saw what the game really was this is the problem with suicide squad bro they built up people's expectations and propped up the game to be something it wasn't they know game set in the arkham verse coming off of the Arkham Knight, coming off of all of this shits, they knew what they were doing, bro. Propping the game up like it was a part of the Arkhamverse and it was going to be some sort of sequel to Arkham Knight. Coming from Rocksteady Studios, which had a reputable name, we were all like, oh yeah, bro, this shit is about to be fire. As soon as we saw the gameplay, it was cooked. As soon as we saw the gameplay, people were like, nah, bro. There's no shot. I remember the moment that gameplay video dropped and it was all you shooting at purple blobs on like tanks and helicopters, bro. That shit was so ass. It was so ass, bro. I was like, no way. There's no way. Then I did some more research and found out that Rocksteady isn't even Rocksteady anymore, man. And that's the problem. And that's what so many people don't even know or realize, man. Rocksteady is dead. It's not Rocksteady anymore. That's why we got that game. Do you really think the same Rocksteady that made the Arkhamverse games, that made the four Arkham Batman games, well, with the exception of WB Montreal or whoever made uh, Arkham Origins, do you really think the same people that made those cinema-ass games made this bullshit? 
No, bro. They left. All the people that worked on those games left forever ago, bro. They made some new company. These are all new people that clearly don't give a damn. I'm not trying to sit here and whine on some, bro, yeah, the Arkham, bro, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, yeah, it's just a video game and shit, but this is why your game failed. This is why your game failed. People do care about the shit, bro. Bro, nobody's going to play this bullshit ass game. Avengers game or Suicide Squad game? Avengers. On God, Avengers, bro. On God, the Avengers game, bro. The thing I can give the Avengers game is it actually had more unique abilities, bro. The Avengers game was hot ass it was i'm not gonna sit here and hold you bro i'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it the avengers game was hot ass but i actually enjoyed for a little for five seconds i actually enjoyed seeing the different characters abilities and stuff the stuff you could do with captain america and thor it's a lot more enjoyable than suicide squad man there's nothing special really about any of those characters in the game bro throwing the shield as captain america felt good in the avengers game i'm not even gonna sit here and lie he had some abilities that felt crazy bro that game was buns though that's where the bar the bar was that low bro the avengers game and they still went below it bro they made a new bar it went avengers game Hell, Suicide Squad Kid of Justice League, bro. They set the new lowest bar for a game like this, bro. It's actually insane. We've been steady mobbed, yeah. Running routes, we mobbed, yeah. In a whip, we mobbed, yeah. Money straight, good posture. Talking shit, gon' cost, yeah.